hello internet welcome to another antenna tutorial uh, this tutorial focuses on corner reflector antennas now dipoles are the most commonly used antennas and they are easily fabricated and designed for high frequencies but the radiation pattern of dipoles is omnidirectional to make dipoles directional we could use a reflecting surface that would serve two purposes one would be to block radiations now a reflector would serve two purposes firstly it, it can block radiations in one direction and secondly it will direct radiations in the exactly opposite direction so we could say this could be the main purpose of the reflecting surface now the most commonly used reflector is a sheet reflector made up of conducting sheet what happens is a dipole is placed and behind that dipole a large sheet of reflecting material is is placed at a certain distance now that would serve two purposes it would not allow the radiation to go beyond the sheet and secondly it can reflect the radiations towards the direction of the dipole and if we look at the side view it would look something like this this point source is a representative of a dipole and it is placed at a distance s and this reflecting sheet or the reflector would direct all the energy from this dipole into one direction blocking it in this direction now the very basic essence of a reflector antenna is to is to manipulate directivity of the antenna so in other words a reflecting surface is used to set a predetermined radiation pattern or properties now this could be achieved by making some changes in the reflector sheet if we place the reflector uh, if we place a straight sheet of reflector behind the dipole that would that would make up a radiation pattern which would not be highly highly directional but if we make the surface of the reflector directional itself by which we mean that if we if we use a corner reflector if we make a bend in the reflector we fold the reflector by 90 degrees and we keep the same distance of the dipole then this would create a more directional beam and
and enhanced directivity can be achieved. Now this angle by which this flat sheet is bent is known as the corner reflector. Now this has been the basis of the parabolic antenna. Parabolic antenna also works on the same principle that the dish right in front of the antenna element is used to direct all its energies in the uh, in the reflecting areas now let's get into the theory of corner reflector antennas corner reflector antennas they stem from the theory of images of optics for reflecting materials for for every antenna which is placed in front of the flat sheet reflector which which is analogous to a plane mirror you would find an image antenna at exactly the same distance in the opposite direction now with with the reflector placed as a sheet with absolutely no corner angle or in other words we could say the corner angle is 180 degrees for every antenna which is placed in front of the reflector will get an image antenna but this concept can be extrapolated when we bend the reflector by an angle of 90 degrees in case of a corner reflector with corner angle of 90 degrees we get four image antennas or in other words we get an array of four antennas out of which one is the real antenna and number two is the image antenna and three and four are also image antennas but they are going to be out of phase from the main antenna a dot would represent antenna image with same phase and a cross would represent an antenna image with out of phase radiation pattern now making a bend in the reflector would not only help in directing all our energies in one direction but it will also help in in manipulating the radiation pattern we can manipulate the side lobes and and the nulls and half power beam widths they can be controlled the most important point here is to understand the concept of image theory because the essence of 
corner reflector is the image theory as we have seen that this angle of corner determines how many image antennas are going to be made and which of them will be in phase and which of them will be out of phase so I'm gonna give you an illustrative example of few corner angles and the images that they make so that you can understand that how the directivity increases with the formation of image antennas now with a corner angle of 45 degrees for a single antenna placed at a distance d from the corner we get an array of eight antennas out of which seven are image antennas and one is this is the real antenna now this concept this concept can easily be understood if if you have some background in optics uh, the placement of mirrors at 45 degrees angle will give us many more images as compared to what it gives when the placement of mirrors is kept at an angle of 60 degrees and so on and so forth uh, and this is pretty interesting analogy as well so if we keep the angle to be 60 degrees then what we get is we get six elements in the array out of which you can see five of them are going to be image one is real and again the legend says cross is out of phase and dot is in phase now I'll draw one more with a 30 degree corner angle and a 30 degree corner angle would give us a lot many images so we get a lot of images when we keep the corner angle to be 30 degrees a lot of them are in phase a lot of them are out phase now with the increase of image antennas side lobes and directivity both of them will go up both of them will increase so there is a trade-off between increasing directivity that comes at a cost of increased side lobes the more number of antenna that you have in an array the more side lobes will you get so we'll need to make a balance we'll need to we'll need to read the requirements before making a corner reflector if our primary requirement is to increase directivity and we're not bothered about the presence of side lobes then we could increase it to 
30 degrees and that will give us a pencil beam sharp a low half power beam with radiation but if side lobes are absolutely a no-no in our communication then we must keep it to 90 degrees or 180 degrees uh, as these images suggest but this is a very very important concept where the formation of antenna array is kind of virtual uh, the formation of antenna elements happens through the image theory and all those image antennas they contribute to the enhanced directivity of the antenna so i hope this this introduction to corner reflector antennas uh, was really helpful and if you liked the video then please consider subscribing to my channel that will be a great help thank you so much for watching the video have a good day good life bye